Now let's read lesson 350. Miracles mirror God's eternal love. To offer them is to remember him and through his memory to save the world. Very simple. Miracles mirror God's eternal love. Every time you give a miracle, you're just extending the love of God. So every single time you remember that you are the essence of God, that you and the Father are one, you, well, all you're doing is activating the memory of the truth that everything is one with the Father. We, we are one with the Father because we're all made of the same energy that the Father is. There is nothing that is not made of the consciousness that is God. There is nothing that is not made of the energy that is the energy of love. So that's how the world is saved when we love it. Um, let's go to paragraph number one. What we forgive becomes a part of us as we perceive ourselves. And again, we have to recognize that we have to perceive ourselves as deserving forgiveness in order for us to extend forgiveness to anyone or anything. So what we forgive out there or, or in here becomes a part of us as we perceive ourselves. The Son of God incorporates all things within himself as you created him. Your memory depends on his forgiveness. We cannot remember God inside. We can't if we don't understand the real process of forgiveness as taught by the Holy Spirit, taught by Jesus. What he is is unaffected by his thoughts, but what he looks upon is their direct result. Oh, that is just so beautiful. So God's memory is necessary for us to experience forgiveness and, and when we look on things as forgiven, oh my gosh, it just totally, completely activates God within us. Therefore, my father, I would turn to you. Only your memory will set me free. And only my forgiveness teaches me to let your memory return to me and give it to the world in thankfulness. Because when I remember that I am a daughter of God, that you are a daughter of God, that I and the Father are one is really what this is saying, which is what Jesus came to teach 2,000 years ago. We are waking up to the truth that we are the incarnation of the Creator, that every single one of us is the second coming of the Christ. The Christ consciousness is the awareness that we are one, the awareness that love is what we are, the awareness that nobody has ever done anything to the part of us, the aspect of us that is eternal. Our ego is something that we have learned, but it is not what we are. When we stop believing what we have learned, we can unlearn that. When we remove those thoughts, what is left through the practicing of the truth is what we are in reality. And all that we can possibly be is what the creator is, is this consciousness, this energy, this truth, this intelligence expressing itself. So when you can forgive yourself for having pretended all this time that you were something other than the presence of God expressing itself as love, when you can forgive yourself, you return your mind to its rightful place in total and complete alignment with the truth of who you are. And from that place, you begin to see that so is everybody else. And that's what saves the world. Let me read this last sentence. And only my forgiveness teaches me to let your memory return to me and give it to the world in thankfulness. When I see that everything is nothing but the presence of God, either they remember it or not, that's not none of my business. But when I extend the love and I begin to love all that there is, that's how I practice gratitude. So grateful am I that my opinions about anything there never changed anything out there. So grateful am I that my false opinion about myself didn't change me as God created me. Isn't that something to be thankful for? That no matter how much we pretend to be what we're not, it doesn't alter what we actually are. It's just absolutely remarkable. Paragraph number two. And as we gather miracles from him, we will indeed be grateful. For as we remember him, his son will be restored to us in the reality of love. As we remember God, all of the sons and daughters of God are restored in our mind. We begin to know the truth of ourselves and of everybody else. Isn't that just something beautiful? I mean, I just love these lessons. So thank you so much for receiving these lessons and letting yourself receive this truth and ideally practice it and become it and extend it so that, that one day 
you release the world from your judgments because you'll have released yourself from yours. Accepting that you are as God created you and you cannot be anything else returns you to sanity, returns you to your rightful place as one who is in the kingdom of heaven, right there with me where we've always been. And from that place together, we can turn this planet onto the heaven on earth that it really is designed to be. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.